All right, so we have been waiting to start the brand new Math 2, Part 2 by The Good and the Beautiful. Um, there's, of course, a Part 1, and then there are also um, manipulatives that you can purchase with this course. So this um, Part 2 picks up on Lesson 65, and its numbers up to 1,000. And I have been waiting for um, the good and the beautiful to release this and we're really excited to start using it. So today we are going to be doing the very first lesson of this course, which is lesson 65, numbers up to 1000. You guys can see right here, um, you write down the date, you practice skip counting, then you have some adding here, a little bit of money, um, over here, it gives you all of the supplies that you need and counting hundreds. So this is a super fun lesson with lots of different components to it. Um, I like how at the top it tells you what materials you need. So we're going to give it a shot. We've been using Horizons, um, which we're happy with and we enjoy, but I've been waiting for them to release a math level for me to try that actually fits with my kids' um, capability levels and where they're at. So I'm excited to give this a shot. Um, we actually do not have the manipulative box yet, so that might be kind of a challenge for us to do, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. The connect the dots and counting. She loves connect the dots, so she's really excited about that. So we're gonna start here with lesson 65 um, for the very first lesson of level Three. two. 376, 387, Thousands of tulips. The sun shone down warming Emma as she skipped along the rows of tulips. The flowers seemed to go on and on and on as far as the eye could see, like a beautiful blanket wrapping and warming the earth below. How many tulips do you think are here? Emma wondered, looking up at her father. How many tulips are here in this tulip farm? Her dad asked, raising his eyebrow. Oh, I'm sure there are probably a few thousand tulips here. Wow, Emma whispered to herself. She wasn't quite sure how much a thousand was, but... Okay, without using your fingers. What? You can count in your head, but not on your fingers. So what's four plus five? Nine. Mm -hmm. You know, so on here, if you know, what's eight plus eight? Do you remember what eight plus eight is? What's that? 16. Well, seven is only one less than another eight. So if you know eight plus eight is 16, then what's that? 15. Good. See how you can do that in your head? Do you know what six plus six is? Yeah. What is it? Six plus six is eight. Mm -mm. Wait, 12. 12. So if five is one less than six, what is that answer gonna be? 11. Good. And how about, do you remember four plus four? Mm -hmm. What's that? Eight. Good, and three is one less than four, so. Seven. Good job. Okay, now do you know seven plus seven? 14. And six is one less than 14, or seven, so what would that be? 13. Very, very good. See how you can do that? So if you add your doubles, like seven plus seven, and then you take away one, then you can do that in your head, which is much faster than counting all of our fingers. Okay, can you count this money right here? So see the $10 bill? Mm -hmm. So 10 and five is how much? 15. Good, and then one more. 16, and one. 17. So write 17 for the dollars part.
Okay, so today I am going to be showing you guys exactly what is the, what's inside the Math 2 course book, part two from The Good and the Beautiful. They released part one, um, but part two was just released, and so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like and kind of share with you kind of my first impressions of it. Um, as you know, we have been tried and true Horizons math users as well as teaching textbooks. Those are my two math programs that I have used in my homeschooling journey up until this point. So I was incredibly excited to get part two of the course book. Um, I do want to quickly point out that there is a part one and there is also a box of like manipulative type items that you do need to uh, work on this course. But I have just the book here to show you guys. Um, so I want to quickly show you at the beginning, it tells you everything that you're going to need for every lesson ahead of time. So that is really, really nice. Um, so that way you're never caught off guard. Um, the box is called the math activity box. So you always need to have that. Um, so right away, here are the things that are popping out to me. Um, this course picks up at lesson 65 and at the top, it always has the materials again for you. I really love the daily dose. This is a really quick little re review section that is really awesome. Um, now the next thing that I really, really like besides this little daily dose is that the lesson, if you just take a quick glance at it, it can seem kind of long, but it really is kind of abbreviated. Like if you just take the time to read over this, you're going through things very quickly. So don't let like the fact that it's a couple of pages freak you out. Um, on the back side, I really, really, really loved this little practice right here, as well as the numbers up to 1000 with the windmill. So that is that was the first lesson. Now here's the next lesson, and it kind of always gives you an idea of what you're working on right up here. Um, I love that there is scripture reference in this. Jesus feeds thousands. I love that because nothing is separate from, from him. And it has the scripture reference right down here. So again, those little daily dose activities, I really think are fantastic. And then um, I just love the variety of it all. So this is like a little puzzle to solve. It's a bonus activity. Um, so this, this curriculum to me, the expanded number form right here, is not going to be the same every day. And I think that that is going to really hold kids' interests really well, especially mine. It's going to make it seem fun. Um, so down here, like comparing the tulip fields by looking at them, um, I just really like the color of it. Like look how fun these sheets are. I love the variety of it, the spider's web. Um, I love that every lesson has different things in it, but it also has review. Um, so, you know, adding and subtracting tens and hundreds. Um, it's just, it's just really great. I like how it is also scripted. So if you're new to homeschooling, having a scripted curriculum that you can literally read verbatim if you want to and effectively teach your kids is fantastic. I generally just look at it and then explain it kind of in my own wording, but look at how fun, like all these different things with like geographical references, I just knew that it would be beautiful. Here's measuring lines. Um, that looks like a lot of fun. I'm just flipping through tens and hundreds. <clears throat> it also gives the answers upside down. <laughs> um, so fruit salad fractions are in here. Measurings with cups, teaspoons, tablespoons, mental math, making 100. Um, I really like that they have the mental math component. In Horizons, I haven't seen any mental math and I really like that that's included in here. Um, I'm getting to the back of this book now. So solving for unknowns up to 100. Uh, let's see here. Um, this looks like, um, this is another bonus activity, but look, a garden harvest, fractions in nature. So tying in math into you know the real world. Skip counting by 12s. 
ounces and pounds. And then it looks like the last lesson of this book, solving two step story problems, that's really great. Um, then you have your section assessment at the end. So it looks like the final assessment is back there as well. Um, and what else do we have here? A little bit more of that final assessment and the little sheets that you'd probably utilize throughout in the appendix. So it looks like um, part two of this curriculum finishes on lesson number 124. So there's about 60 lessons in part two. So that is just a quick glance as well as kind of like my first opinions um, on the part two curriculum for math two from The Good and the Beautiful, written by Mindy Eldridge, Shaylin Engel, Ashley Budd, and Amber. She actually has a YouTube channel. I'll link you to it. Um, she's a friend of mine. So I love this course. I'm really excited to have it. Um, my daughter is having fun with it, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, so are you stopping using Horizons, or, are, or what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna have her finish her Horizons book that she was in, and then we're gonna work through this because um, it's just beautiful and it's fun. And she was already almost done with her um, second grade level anyway, so this will be a nice thing to kind of hold us over. And then in her third grade year, we'll, we'll decide math then. But that's my plan for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps you. If you have math too, let me know how you're liking it. Give me a thumbs up before you go, and I will see you all in my next video really soon. Thanks for watching.